Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that I am going to share with you, it comes from a translation of a message that I received. The translation reads like this. Hello, my brother, how are you? I have a story that I want to share with you. I am a married man and I met this wife of mine in this city. I met her when I started attending this other church. This was after I started experiencing spiritual attacks. And at that time, my younger brother, he also had came and almost ran away from our mom, our mom who is back in the village. And we never wanted our wives to return back to the village after we had gotten married to our wives. But they never understood as to why we avoided them meeting up with our mother my brother i had a court wedding that is all that i could do because my mother i am scared of here let me return you back a little bit when i was still in the village after i had finished writing my o level exams my mother then called me one day and she said my son when i look at you i see your own father and i want you to become the man of this house I want you to take care of me. Look at me now. I am old. I can no longer do the things that I, I was able to do when I was still young. I do not want you to leave the village. I said, Mom, if you say you do not want me to leave the village, then what am I going to do? Because there is no way I am going to find work here in the village. Who is going to hire me? Then my mother said, we will always live the way that we used to live. If you want something, you can just go into the forest. You can pick up fruits we can survive i then said mother this is the modern times we cannot live like we are old people and i want to achieve something in my life my mom got so angry because she had two of her friends who had two daughters it seemed as if they had already made an arrangement i don't know what they had given each other but my mother she had promised her friends that their daughters were going to be married to us well i then told mom that i was going to the city when I told my mom that I was going to the city, she then said that if you came out of me, if you came out of my private parts, then know that if you go to the city, you are going to return back from the city in a coffin. I am your mother and I brought you into this world. You are going to listen to me. I then said, God forbid, I am yours. Yes, I am your son, but the soul, the spirit that is in me, it belongs to the Lord. At that time, my brother, I was not even a Christian, but the words that she had told me, they were quite terrifying. Here telling me that if I go to Harare, I was going to return back in a coffin. So I was trying to at least defend myself from the case that she had placed upon my life. Well, when I came to the city, she watched me as she was insulting me when I was walking out of the compound. Well, my brother, I arrived in Harare. I started working. Then I started to receive a lot of spiritual attacks. Well, God was really faithful because the man who had hired me, he was an elder at this other Pentecostal church. I then went to him and I said, please pray for me. Please pray for me. The money that you keep on giving me, this money, I don't know what is going on with the money because I wanted to get a driver's license so that I can get a better job. When this man was praying for me, I started to manifest. I started acting and rolling on the ground as if I was a snake and I started to speak with a voice that no one even understood. My brother, let me take you back to the past. I was born and raised in a village in Chipinge and we had encountered a lot of strange things as like the way that my father died. My father died mysteriously after he had been bitten by a snake. But this thing, it happened after my mother had found out that my father, when he had gone to look for work in Mutari, there he had stayed at this other place where his friend was staying with his wife's younger sister. So my mother said that the reason as to why your friend has called you to Mutari, it is because he wants to give you his wife's younger sister. And when my father responded back to my mother and my father said, you are really mentally ill. This witchcraft of yours has gotten to your head. That was when my father was bitten by a snake. No one ever saw that snake. He only complained and he said, a snake, a snake. This was when he was at the cross 
growth point where all the grocery stores in our village were so he was just sitting down as he was playing this game that they call draft so he said a snake a snake everyone jumped up but no one saw that snake my father then started complaining as he was pulling his trousers up and he showed people where the snake had beat him that is how my father passed away well we grew up not having a father but my mother she was quite a hard worker she then started working really hard so that we can have a better life and i was quite intelligent in school but my mom she would pull me down because she never wanted me to leave our village but by force my brother i ended up being in harare after that elder had prayed for me that was when this other lady who was in the same youth group as i was this lady she started it, telling me that whenever she would be praying my name will start coming to her and she will pray more for me then i saw that this lady she was really beautiful i then proposed love to her that is how we started dating my wife my wife that i married she is a powerful prayer warrior and my young brother's wife even though she is a christian but most of the times she is lazy me and my brother we know where we are coming from well the way that my young brother came to the city this was after my young brother had called me and told me that i had to wait for him by the bus station so i had to go to mbari and when i went there the story that my young brother told me was that when one day he was returning back from the fields he was working for this other man who had given him a small piece job like to cut down the bushes in this other field when he returned back to the compound he then found out that one of my mom's friend's daughter was there and she started forcing my brother to make love to her so that they can become a couple he then ran away he ran away when this woman started screaming that he had tried to abuse her and then he ran and he went to the bus station and there was a bus that was being loaded that was about to leave our seat that was about to leave our village he then spoke with the drivers and when he spoke with the drivers he then told them that my brother is in harare he is going to pay you once you have dropped me off in harare so they called me to to, to so they called me to confirm if this was the truth i said it is okay i am going to wait for you so i went and i waited for him that is how my young brother ended up being in harare and since that year we had never returned back to the village well when my brother came here he also found love in the same church that we that i was attending but my young brother's wife even though she goes to church sometimes when we would be doing bible study us knowing where we are coming from we would make sure that we concentrate on the word of god but sometimes she will start complaining and she will say that she is too tired she is too tired sometimes when we would go over to her house then she will say let us watch a movie rather than us praying each and every time let us just relax and have a good time it then happened that when she fell pregnant like my young brother's wife she gave birth to twins so she said i want to go and show your mom these kids but we kept on telling her that you are not supposed to go there because we do not even trust our own mother so if we your husbands don't trust our own mother what makes you think that if you go there everything is going to be okay we don't know what happened my brother but she later found my mom's phone number she got this other phone number of our neighbor who gave her my mom's phone number she started speaking with our mom this she did in secret my mom was too happy to be connected with her and she gave her directions to come to her place back in the village where we grew up so she went there my brother when she told they when she returned back my brother that was when one of the twins passed away when my wife's brother went to chipinge what hurts me the most is that my mother she then found that opportunity to send some of her tokologies right now the life that we are living it is not the same life that we used to live right now my mom she is quite an old woman she is quite an old woman but the reports that we receive from from the village where we grew up we are told that sometimes when the villagers are walking past our compound 
they can see a snake this snake it is not even afraid of people all the houses we were told that the houses they all went down my mother is sleeping in that same mud kitchen and she is using it as well as her bedroom so most of the people from our village they call us and they say you boys you need to return back to your mother but at the same time when they tell us to return back to the village they keep on telling us that once our mom she was caught she was caught early in the morning and when she was asked what she was doing by the graveyard she could not respond to the people that were asking her and she was naked at that time when they caught him well we can say that maybe my mother she is suffering from that disease that affects you when you are old but the place where she was found my brother it is a place that was 50 kilometers from our compound that is where she was found so for me to say that my mother she walked for 50 kilometers throughout the night it is quite impossible because my mother is quite old so what i want my brother is for your listeners to assist me i am a christian i know that god will protect me but there are some things that i am afraid to do i am afraid to have physical contact again with my mother because after my young brother's wife returned she lost one of her child from there on that was when she understood that in our family there is this big spiritual battle that is going on because my mother she never wanted us to progress in life she wanted us to stay in the village with those two women that she wanted us to get married to so i am scared that if we return back to the village so I am afraid that if we return back to the village, it will be more like we will be renewing those vows, the vows of poverty. We do not want to live in poverty. For a few years after my wife's younger brother had returned back from the village, we suffered so much. Prayers were being held for us by the church. A lot of our church members, they assisted us because it even reached a point whereby we were even unable to pay rent, me and my young brother. But we were working, my young brother was working and I was working, but we were unable to pay rent. What was happening to us was that when it will be month end, my child or my wife will fall so ill. My wife or my child, they will get so sick. And when we would go to the hospital, sometimes they will be put on oxygen machine. That thing whereby you could not ignore. You would take all of your money and pay for the hospital bills. So I do not want to go back to the village where I grew up so that my mother can renew a witchcraft things on me and my kids. I am trying to protect the future of my child. I do not want him to have a curse placed on him by my mother because one day as we were praying i had that revelation that my mother she only wants a physical connection with us again once she has that physical connection she is going to place a curse upon our lives whereby we are going to die without having achieved anything that case i was told that it is still standing the case that she placed upon my life when i was still a young man when she said if as long as you are my child since you have decided to go to harare i want you to return back to chuping in a coffin you are going to return without having achieved anything so am i wrong if I try to protect the future generations, am I wrong if I do not return back to Chiping? Please assist me. Oh, dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent by one of our brothers, and that was a narration of that voice note. He said that me and my wife, we once had a fasting period in our church that we have. We fast for 10 days. But after the 10 days, my wife said that a spirit was telling her to continue. When we were fasting, one night I had a dream. And in my dream, I saw my mother. My mother walked into our bedroom. 
and she said follow me my son follow me my son i then followed her and i was happy in my dreams that i was now speaking with my mom again well we went on the bus and when we went on the bus the next thing that happened is i then found myself standing in the village where i grew so when i realized that i was back in the village i then started screaming and saying god please help me help me god i then saw that i was being surrounded by more than a hundred witches that were trying to drag me into this other grave this grave it was right next to the place where my mom had been was showing me this piece of land when she was saying that all of this my son is going to be yours all of this is going to be yours and the next morning what happened was that we then received a phone call it was from the village headman who was saying that my mom she was gravely ill she was about to die but many many years later my mom she is still alive this is what she does my brother when she wants us to come to the village she will get so sick that most of the villagers they will say you boys why don't you come and see your mother when she is still alive but a few weeks later then for the same villagers that would have insulted you they will report back to you and they will say truly your mother there is something wrong with her because a few days ago she was unable to breathe but now she is running around drinking beer with the rest of the of her friends around the villages and this is what i am facing my brother please i am asking for assistance your strange things do happen in this world.